Britton Brown is the offset back. And Thompson Robinson to throw into the end zone incomplete. Second down out of the pistol here. DTR will call his own number. Looking for a block on the edge. And he Taking tackle by Cameron Lockridge. Watch him just fly up and make this play. You'll catch him on the left side of your screen. Just watch number 20. He flashes late. They can get the first down at the five. Pressure coming. UCLA picks it up initially, and then the bus safe out here. First and 10 for UCLA, a field goal with a very short field to open the game. And the flow of this game. Great line from Justin Fry yesterday. He said, the passing game is like music. You got to find your rhythm. You got to get into a groove. Maybe a little run game will. They don't have center Sam Morazzo. They hope to have him next week. Uh, but the rest of that line is intact. And another carry last year, the best at UCLA since the late 80s. And they'll keep it on the ground. Linemen are on the second level. They're in the faces of the linebackers and safety, and that's how you're getting that good push. See, everybody's on that second level, creating some space for Brown. Another new guy, one of the nine transfers for the Bruins, Zach Sharvin, double digit run. They run hungry. That's the term used around here. This is a hungry bunch at that back spot. School. Could be a really good one-two punch. Trying to set up the score. Thank you very much, Matt. Third down play for UCLA, and they will get the fresh set of Already in the red zone once today, picked up three. Looking for more, big gaping hole up the middle. Charbonnet. Shout out to the right guard, right tackle, Clemens Anderson. Watch how they cave down that entire right side from the defensive front. He returns at 11 yards to set up UCLA again. And they will keep the Pedal to the metal. Brown. No get. Power game down inside. Brown is the back from the one. Brown sidesteps. All left the Pac-12 footprint. And a job one for all the coaches is to try and keep guys like that at home. Game against USC that really opened a lot of people's eyes. DTR takes it. Hurdles it mid. Putting yourself in harm's way, I get it. The athletic ability of Thompson Robinson, something you don't want to see. Your, just get down to the ground, move on to the next play. Over 100 yards rushing now for UCLA. And why not more of the same? Keep feeding him. Charbonnet refuses. Not bad for the new guy to average 20 yards per carry here in the first quarter. Justin Fry, the offensive coordinator for UCLA, told hand in there, knocking that ball away. Q Lake. Thompson Robinson looking to get something going through the air. Fires it deep down. In terms of the pass game, see if they get some short underneath throws to really get his confidence going. Off the left side and a gain of about. Have harpened his career so far. Blitz coming up the middle. It's picked up and very close to first down. Thompson Robinson looks front. Comes back to the backside. Terrific route by Phillips. Big offensive line. Lots of experience. You know, they took their lumps in their younger days. First down, Charbonnet. Down to about to get their season started next weekend. Charbonnet, another big gainer. Terrific block downfield. Play of better than 10 yards here in the first half. Well, earlier it was all about how big the holes were that they ran through, but this time Charbonnet just... Yeah, they have been churning it out on the ground. Zach Charbonnet, 106 yards rushing, three touchdowns in his UCLA... On a Texas A&M transfer, they're trying to find, get this passing game going as well, but this run game right now seems to be what UCLA may be... Good sign. I'll try on the ground again. We are in the Keith Jackson Broadcast uh, yes. Center. <laughs> yeah, we had to dress it up in honor of Keith. It had been the best throw from DTR we've seen today. Just missed out. Third down and eight incomplete. Because that LSU defense coming in next week, they're going to be ready. And they're watching this tape right now. 
and Thompson Robinson's kind of on us. We got to play a little bit cleaner. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks. Yards and 21 yards. Dorian Thompson Robinson, quiet uh, in the pass game. Talked enough about today. Yeah, they want to take care of business here in the second half, and uh, then the hype machine will start to Oklahoma next Saturday. Elusive out at midfield is Josiah Norwood. On this drive alone. They pick up the blitz, allows DTR to look deep downfield, and it's hauled in by Cameron for four on the drive, and he caps it with a 44-yarder. Well, we were wondering when Dorian Thompson Robinson would settle in. Well, I could say from that throw, he's young, and then JT Daniels versus DJ Uyunglele. It's going to be a fun day watching these teams compete. What a great sell job by Pavihi. Darius Mu'asau was the guy that got the tip. Ruins so for Thompson Robinson. 44-yard touchdown pass earlier in this quarter for DTR. They'll keep it on the ground here in Tuscaloosa. Good pop. That, ball, still competing. that ball came out, by the way. Thompson Robinson tripped up. Nice snap on third and long. They pick up the blitz. Incomplete intent. Jim Rapp, but a guy who loves to compete and definitely won that backup job behind Dorian Thompson Robinson. Hand off on first down. Of course, last year when DTR was out, it was Chase Griffin who played in the pocket, delivering strikes. First and 10, they'll run it again, and it's a good one. Slashing out across the 45. Doesn't, doesn't have to do it all. In the past, maybe he would try to force balls, play more of a one-on-one -on -one game. First of Thompson Robinson. Not the best day for him, but definitely an efficient day for the offense. And they've been able to run it for 233 yards. We still have the fourth quarter to go. Three. Keeping it on the ground, they'll lose some yardage in its fourth down. Got some Sunday night primetime, some Monday night primetime as well. Big Labor Day weekend coming up. Flag down behind the play, Keegan Jones. See, all these matchups, you know, teams, it's, this is uh, one of those weeks where you can finally play someone in another jersey. It's a special, <laughs> special week in college for your programs. And you mentioned it earlier, these two teams have not been back to a national championship game in a very long time. Where they can sort of progress and put their name as an upper echelon program in college football. Oregon right now at the top of the Pac-12 the last couple of years. And they have another Pac-12 team on the schedule in a couple of weeks. They will be at Oregon State. They understand what it is and it's not even talked about at their program. We could talk about it as announcers, but their program. State twice in a little <laughs> bit of a quirky scheduling situation. Let this clock run. Work that play clock as much as they can. Keeping it on the ground. It's really so far today is showing you this could be a team to be reckoned with. Yeah, it looks like some bad weather, by the way, is uh, up in November. Flag coming out of the back. Feet. Its way into the top 25 at some point this season. Second and 19. Garber's taken down in the sack. By it's really been about them. They don't start school for another month. Yeah. UCLA quarter so system. It's really been about the closeness.